Welcome back guys to another tutorial. We're gonna do another one. Um, we didn't cover this um, before we did the export, but we're just gonna do it um, anyway as a side thing that you guys can learn. Um, when you guys, if you guys are recording an oral presentation, whether you're doing a voiceover or anything like that, um, you'll probably want it to sound a bit more professional. So you're, you're gonna use some fade ins, fade outs. Now, what you're gonna do is first you'll see these two gray and black um, boxes just up in the, the squares, up in the top left and right. You can also use this bar to kind of, um, what's called zoom in. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit to make the file track larger and make it easier to see how things run. Now we're gonna do a fade in, we're gonna hold it. You'll see the four arrows. You're gonna hold, you're gonna click and hold and you're gonna bring it out. You'll see this yellow, yellow line. There's four different ways of fading in and fading out all together. So I'm gonna show you the different ways. So this is the first way, the overarching fade in. Click record, it'll start recording you, you'll keep rotating. You can't really notice the fade in too well, but if you grab and hold, click and hold the square again and you bring it down, so it's like this, you'll hear a more gradual fade in. So if I go back to the start, let's listen to it. Record, it'll start recording you, you'll keep recording your voice. Sounds a bit like echoey and a little bit like staticky, but that's just my computer at the moment, so don't stress, it's not you. Well, you guys won't be hearing the same thing on your recordings when you use your Yeti microphones, but that's how it sounds like with fade in, fade out. Same thing, sorry, with fade in. Same thing happens with fade out, so I'm gonna do the same thing and we'll see how, this, how it um, plays out. How it goes, so I'll stop recording now. It was a dramatic drop, but let's do it the other way like we originally had the overarching fade out. Let's see how that goes. Whatever it is, that's how it goes. So I'll stop recording now. So it's not as much. So usually you want to do the um, the underarching, if that's even a word, um, of your fade ins and fade outs like that. And then um, you'll save your project, and then there's your fade ins and fade outs. Um, and we'll do one more um, tutorial after this about um, sound effects.